Okay. So I want us to look at this, because this is really interesting. This is the flat earth model, and we've got a sun that comes past and goes meow. Okay. So the important thing here is let's reset it and bring it up to about here. And let's have a look at the speed of which this arrow changes as the sun comes past. We can see it's quite gradual now, but as it comes close and past, it quickly turns. Especially around this area here, it's going the fastest. And you can liken this to, let's say, a NASCAR race. When the car's around the other side of the track, your head turns very, very slowly to keep track of them because of the distance. But when they come past, meow, your head turns really quick. Let's do that again. So we'll start here, and you can see that the rate of this arrow, no, and then really quick as it comes past, and then slows down again. Okay, so that is due to the constant speed, and no change in velocity of the sun around a flat Earth. Okay, now I'm not saying this is the case, because no one's ever been able to speculate on what the hell this is, because it doesn't work with any angles or anything else anyway. But <clears throat> let's relate this to ancient sundials. It turns out that every sundial throughout history doesn't work on a flat Earth. And the reason for that is that that same effect when it comes close and it accelerates. Sundials nearer the tropics have been designed opposite to what they should be for a flat Earth. So instead of the numbers spreading out at the noon area, the 12 o'clock area, they actually compress. And you can find this in history for places like Cairo, Athens, Dubai. So we've got a bit of a problem here. All these don't seem to match a flat Earth, nor do they seem to work. And we can see this if I change this to do light simulation. We can actually see that when the sun comes around and gets relatively close, we're now at six o'clock. Now, I can move an hour forward, and an hour is just one twenty-fourth of the overall rotation around the flat Earth, and we see that one hour forward doesn't quite make it to 7 o'clock. Now, that's a bit weird. It's half. But what about if we get to in between? This is where it does start to work. Quarter past 7. And we forward an hour later. Oh, no. Still only 45 minutes. Okay. So, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. I'll forward it one hour. Uh, no, we're still at an hour. Okay. Now we've got a problem. Because when we go up here to, like, 10 o'clock, let's forward it an hour. So that is one hour. And you see we went from 10 o'clock to past midday. And that's the same phenomenon of the race car just coming past and you having to turn your head more. So these sundials have been designed to not work on a flat earth, except they work in reality. So let me get this straight. These sundials that compress the hours around midday work in reality, but on a flat Earth, do not work. And we don't need to know where Cairo is. We just need to know that it's so many miles north of the Tropic of Cancer. So in the height of summer, this still won't work. And the only things you need to assert are that the sun is going around cyclic at approximately 15 degrees per hour, or it's going around cyclic in each one of the hours, you know, there's 24 of them in 360 degrees, whichever way you want to cut it. And then that you're very close to the Tropic of Cancer. And it doesn't matter where this is, it just, it, it will never work. So we've got a bit of a problem. These don't work on a flat Earth. But do you want to know what they do work on? How about we have a look and we simply place them on a globe. So all the same ones. In fact, I've got, I didn't show you the Miami ones. But all these now are just on a globe with a very distant sun. And guess what? They work perfectly. So let's have a look at Athens. Now, what I'll do is I'll go from, so we're at 10 o'clock and I'll go to 90, frame 1995 and that's 11 o'clock. So that's one hour. So it works. What about if it's, uh, let's say, 8 o'clock to 9? So I'm at frame 1683, so 1783. You guys can't see this. There we go. That's one hour. And that works. 
Now I've demonstrated this in a live. You're happy to come along and ask for a demonstration. Uh, I'm happy for you to do that. Just come along, ask for a demonstration. Or try and help me understand how when when I simply place all of these sundials on a globe from history and rotate the globe, so all of the sundials that work in reality, and then I just rotate them on a globe. Why do they tell the time perfectly? And why do the flat earth ones never tell the time? It's not to do with a map. It's got to be something else. I'm sure I'm just missing it. Maybe a flat earther can, can actually explain, once again, why the globe is a perfect depiction of reality throughout time.